On this 96th anniversary of the end of World War I, Connecticut paused to honor veterans from all of the wars. And today, a Weathersfield man who was born in 1917 as World War I was coming to a close was among those honored for his service in World War II. Chief Capital Correspondent Mark Davis has our story. Since the revolution, over one and a quarter million Connecticut residents have served in our nation's wars. There are over a quarter of a million living Connecticut residents that are veterans now, and at least 6,000 are expected back from the recent war zones within the next several months. And today, Weathersfield, which calls itself Connecticut's oldest town, also honored one of the state's oldest veterans, 97-year-old Herb Philbrick. Just reminds people of what was experienced in our, in our history. Seventy years ago, Herb was a chief machinist on a U.S. Navy battlefield repair ship in the South Pacific, a theater of World War II where thousands of Americans died. In the Pacific, we, it was a, that was a long time, two and a half years out there. The weather wasn't the best, it was hot, and every day was a surprise, you might say. For most veterans of combat, no matter how long ago, the memories never fade. Herb is one of the ones willing to talk about it. When a bomb goes off in, aboard a ship, it tears the body apart. It's not a bloody scene. It's a messy thing. The, 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 the body is torn apart with no signs of blood. And uh, I've seen that in so many of them up there. We went aboard that uh, it's an experience you never forget. Once you've seen it, uh, it'll be with you for a lifetime. That's why when they say to me, I forgot about the war, I don't see how you can. <laughs> Herb says to those coming back, get to school, get the help you need, do your best. In Weathersfield, Mark Davis, News 8.